Welcome to this week's vlog. It's Tuesday. I'm reading Crooked Kingdom. I'm like over halfway through. I'm loving every second of it. Oh my god, the spider's gonna die too. Damn it. <sighs> the mission this week is to finish these shelves. <laughs> oh. And to get our ottoman today. We got an ottoman for our couch. Adam's ex very excited. We have an ottoman. All right, listen. Oh, I feel like that's a weird angle. That's also weird. Everything's difficult. All right, I feel bright. Hmm. Okay, I would like to first point out for the ottoman, I know it should go up against the wall. Rationally, in my brain, I get it. But guess what? Okay, the ottoman, it was mostly for Adam. <laughs> I like sitting like sideways on the couch. I'm very happy that way. I would have loved to get like cute armchairs to put on the other side of the couch. It was my daydream. Adam, he likes laying forward and like he has long legs. He's got to stretch them out. So the ottoman is mostly for him. And guess what? His side is the side that's closest to the walkway, not the wall. And I don't hate how it looks. I just don't. I don't hate it right now. I mean, I might eventually but like my side isn't even pressed up against the wall and i know what you're thinking Brittany. you can just switch sides i have perfectly sat on my cushion so that they're not like too squished he's a heavier boy than i am he's a lot taller than i am he works out i do not his pillows are more squished i don't want his side <laughs> i also don't like his side so and he can't have my side while sitting on the ottoman i don't know i don't know what to do about that I didn't really think it through. I am happy that he's happy though, and I don't think it looks bad actually. I think it looks pretty cool. So that wasn't what this update was for though, if you were curious. Oh, first let's talk about Crooked Kingdom. Like I said earlier, but I didn't have the book with me. I'm about halfway through. I am right here. I love it. I love it. I mean, guys, can we talk about, without spoiling who is saying it to who or anything like that, I wanna, I wanna read so far the line that I forgot about. I forgot about this line. Where is it? There it is. Ahem. I would come for you. And if I couldn't walk, I'd crawl to you. And no matter how broken we were, we'd fight our way out together. Because that's what we do. We never stop fighting. If I can't walk to you, I'd crawl. <gasps> Shut up. If someone ever said that to me, it would be game over. It would be game over. I think that that would be the moment that my simulation ends. You know, like that's my happy ending. Ugh. It's just so good. It's so good. I'm having so much fun with this reread. I am like not reading the books that I should be reading that I have that other video for, but we're living in the moment. But anyways, the real reason why this update is I got this in the mail. And at first I was like, oh, fairy loot. I thought the box would be smaller because I should be getting the adult boxes, which are the book only. And I was like, oh, maybe they have like mistaken and accidentally given me like the full box or maybe they gave me the YA one still. I was confused and then my little old brain remembered that I had made a purchase last week. Kind of suddenly without a lot of sense in my brain. But I didn't expect it to come this fast. I was literally checking to see when it was gonna come in the mail. Like this, that whole debacle in my head, that was done. I was just curious if my other order was gonna be shipped out soon and when I saw that it had been shipped today and it had arrived today, I was like, oh wait, that must be this. So the person that I bought it from was like kind enough to rewrap it all inside of a fairy loot box. Now you might be wondering, Brittany, what could you have possibly gotten that needed to be in a fairy loot box? Remember how I read these hollow vows? Right? Oh, bubble wrap. I think it five stars. I've never bought books off Mercari. This is going well. I mean, it was expensive. But it's going well. Uh. All right. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Oh, they even gave like little, that's cool. Hear me out. As I said, I really wanted to get these Twisted Bonds in the Fairy Loot Edition that would match the Fairy Loot Edition of these Hollow Vows that I already have. But for this edition, because apparently Fairy Loot re-released this because there was so much demand around it, but they re-released it without the stenciled edges. It's just solid blue all the way around. So when I was looking it up, I would find copies that were like 50, 60 bucks, but they were all the ones that were solid blue all the way around. For the stenciled edged books, each one was selling for like over $150, every single one that I'd found at least. I was bamboozled because not only that, but the the dual versions like this, 
we're selling for the same amount. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, what's the point? But then this one specifically, this seller, shout out to you. They were selling it for, I think it was like a hundred flat. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. But that was still way less than it would be to just buy this one. So I was like, you know what, I'll buy the set and then I can always sell it. Like I can always, I won't like mess with this one at all. I've marked up my copy of these hollow vows, but I won't mess with this one. If I feel the, the urge, I can sell it. Try and like feel better about my $100 book from an author that I think is, if not addictive, pretty, pretty baseline authoring skills, you know? I'm not here to judge. I guess I kind of am, but I'm not here to judge. It's not like this is like the finest work of literature. What hurt me is that I really want to get the Babel exclusive version of Fairy Loots. The Babel exclusive, Fairy Loots exclusive version of Babel by R.F. Kong. That was stunning, you know? But that one sells for about the same price. And I was like, I'm really about to purchase this for the same price as Babel. And Babel, like in my brain, that is like, top tier that is a top tier book and it's a beautiful stunning edition too and i'm like and i'm spending it on this one which is addictive tier it's a totally different tier it's on a different level it's it's in a whole other category you know like it's but they're not the same and that hurt so i was like a hundred dollars but there was no other options and honestly like shout out to this person they wrapped everything so nicely they sent it out so fast this i bought this last week i'm gonna give them five stars i'm gonna do that but yeah so now i have it um, which is good. It's good. Also, my fairy loot box must be coming soon then because I did look that one up too and that one did ship out uh, the 18th. So, I don't know. Next few weeks. It should be exciting. I can't believe- can you see like ugh, this mess? I'm sorry about the lighting too. I didn't feel like moving the ring light. Today's been kind of like an editing heavy day. So the video that I'm editing today, I wanted to get out over the weekend, but between working and then just like Adam being sick and all of that, like I just did not, I didn't have the time to edit. So I've been editing that all day today. And since it's like a sponsored video, that one takes priority over my fairy loot mass unboxing video, which I also had wanted to get up last week. So, I mean, I ended up filming it like Friday, so. It would have been hard to get out, but I wanted that originally. So those two videos should be coming up this week. And then I'm pretty freaking excited because that means that after that, it's sending me into December, which means that like this reorganization video that I'm doing is going to be a December video, an end of the year video. I have a lot of good end of the year videos planned because there's so much that I didn't do this year that I can now update you with the end of the year. You know, I can talk about potentially every book that I've read in the year, maybe tier rank them, something fun, something to not make it so boring. I can do like one mass haul of all the books that I've accumulated this year. That one would be kind of hard though, because I actually don't, I have a bad memory in that sense, in that regard. I don't have a clear memory of everything that I got this year. Like, I, I just think it would be fun to do something like that, just to like, kind of update you as far as like where my, my reading and, and hauling have been at. Obviously this book reorganization video is going to go up in December. I don't foresee myself doing a book shelf tour at the end of this year. I know, crazy. But mostly because like the reorganization video will have just gone up. So that will likely be something that I start into next year. Plus I'm still so unsure about how I'm reorganizing my books. I'm like having an identity crisis basically while organizing them. <sighs> All that to say, today has been fun but long. So I'm still also finishing up that video, like it's taking a while to export and then my computer died. <laughs> I should have, I didn't, I don't know. It was exporting and it was taking a while and I forgot that it had given me the notification that I needed to plug it into power soon and then it died. So the export stopped if, if you could see that happening, which is fine, but I mean, life, you know? And then, so tomorrow I probably will edit the fairy loot video, but I really just want to like work on these shelves and read. I'm like in the mood to read, but yeah. Luna, we're doing a check-in. Uh, it is a different day, but it is the same beanie. I love winter. I love winter because <laughs> it doesn't even look like my hair is dirty right now. Like, you know? It's fantastic. Today's been long, <laughs> but like not bad long, actually. I feel like I got a lot done today. I finished putting in the books in the shelves. I might hate it. Like looking at it now, actually, I like it a lot more than I did in the daylight when I was finishing up. I've been trying to add in knickknacks, but I feel like they're not fitting in well. 
with like the rest of the shelves which kind of sucks because I don't know I just I feel very mixed about it I think that's soon not like soon soon because this took a really long time and I'm gonna like sit and enjoy it for a little but in like next year I really just want to go through my books and as much as I'm very much against the idea of unhauling books in the sense that I'm like kind of a hoarder about it I can't get rid of it like once I've like put it in my hands I have this thing where like I'm you know personification I do that all the time <laughs> I like I give an object feelings and I'm just like it's gonna be so sad if I leave it <laughs> And I know it doesn't have feelings. You don't have to you don't have to sit there and tell me that I just something in my brain It just does that. I think it's once again from being an only child. I <laughs> My stuffed animals all had like backstories and emotions, you know, it started there probably but anyways I do like it. It's kind of what I was going for. I just I just feel like there's a lot of books that I don't care for that are on there and like that was kind of the harder part to organize was realizing that there's a lot of books that I just don't care for and I don't want that. So yeah, I mean I think I've said this before but part of like the reason that I don't really love unhauling as well as the personification thing is because I feel bad for having spent money or even worse like if it's a if it's a gift from someone I I don't think I'll ever give away a gift in I just I just can't I really can't I don't know I feel like if I just learned how to use one of those apps like Mercari or Depop or something like that what was that I'll be right back Luna um tell them tell them more boy what was that Wait, so you didn't jump down, so he jumped down. Where did you jump down from, Apollo? But yeah, I think I would feel a lot less bad about it if I felt like I hadn't wasted money, I guess. Hmm. But anyways, enough about that. Adam's gone for the night. He's hanging out with some friends, so I'm just going to read. I'm actually kind of excited about it. I'm going to cook some food, because there's nothing to eat. I should finish this. Maybe I will because you can't see this, but like everything's chaotic. I don't want to show you <laughs> until the the bookshelf organization video goes up. Yeah, so we're gonna read. Hey, we're gonna read Crooked Kingdom. Um, I'm gonna cook food. Actually, I really need to move. I still have all the fairy loot and owl crate boxes here from like the big unboxing that I did. So I kind of want to put all that stuff away. I got distracted the distracted the last like three hours reorganizing all of my prints. Yeah, that was a rabbit hole. I didn't think I'd go down today, but it it nonetheless was. It's also just perfectly organized now though. But I digress. Uh, that's it for this update. I think I have nothing else to say. Luna, do you have anything to say? Apollo definitely has something to say. I just, what are you doing? Don't, you can't fit in there. That's my pen. I'm gonna go. I think Apollo needs playtime. <laughs> mm, happy Thanksgiving. I'm having a mini charcuterie board moment. I'm hungry and like we don't go to my mom's for at least another hour. So I'm also, oh wait, besides my mini charcuterie board with Ritz crackers. I have wine. Adam's sister, she got us like this like wine that's shaped like a cat and he finally brought it over because she got it a while ago. So we cracked it open for this beautiful day of things. I'm also watching all the Gossip Girl Thanksgiving episodes. I'm on season three right now. Um, it's almost done though. So season four is soon to come. Mm. And I have not read today. Today's like an off day, like purposely off. Isn't that weird? I don't do that very often. We started the day by going to Dutch Bros, which like until we got there, I like really didn't think about the fact that it's Thanksgiving and I'm going to Dutch Bros. And I always like, whenever I work on Thanksgiving, I'm like, who goes out on holidays? Now I'm that person. So yeah, I definitely, we, we, we tipped, always tip. But I mean, especially on the holidays, you know? Anyways, I think this, that's it for this update. I finished the bookshelves. I told you that already. I think I actually like it. We'll see. Another Thanksgiving has come and gone, or the truth that will change your life. Adam said he could taste an aftertaste. I don't think I can. Who knows? I wonder if it's appropriately blurry so you can't really see much of anything. Oh, you're so big. I would show you my fit, but you're kind of getting an idea of what my bookshelves look like. That is what I feel I owe you on Thanksgiving, because I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for everyone that sticks with me when I disappear and for all like the sweet comments that I get on my videos. So here you go. A sneak peek. Happy day after turkey day. Hello. Today is the day that I am going to finish up the decorations on my bookshelf and be able to film out that 
outro clip. I also really want to edit my Fairy Loot Owl Crate Mass unboxing that I did last week. I got ready. So one step's already done. It is like 2 p.m. basically. I've had a very relaxed morning. Adam didn't work today, so those always tend to go slower than when he does. I don't know, not his fault. I'm easily distracted by people. But oppose hugging like the camera right now, that's adorable. Uh, so I'm gonna finish that up. I'm watching a video right now on YouTube. I just don't, I don't have like the, the want to listen to an audiobook right now. I've been listening to, or listening. I did read some of Crooked Kingdom today. I'm on page 346, so we're nearing the end. I've realized I actually remember Crooked Kingdom way better than I remember Six of Crows. I'm starting to think I like sped through Six of Crows to get to Crooked Kingdom because if I remember correctly, I, I marathon them like in one weekend. So I am remembering this one a lot better, which makes it like slightly fun, but slightly not fun because I'm like some of the things that I was kind of writing into the margins that I thought were guesses. I'm like, wait, I think actually that's a memory. <laughs> so that's been kind of funny, but I don't have any audiobook as far as like to update you guys on but yeah i'm gonna do that and then we'll talk so i did want okay so really fast i did want to close out this week's vlog it's monday so i didn't talk to you all weekend because i was working first off i haven't finished crooked kingdom yet i have a very good reason though i'll let you know in a moment i'm still on page 348 so Still reading that, still loving it. I just put it down because I, I got this like urge. For once in a while, it just hits me, you know, to read Air of Fire. Like not thoroughly read it. I did speed read through like some of the chapters like that I just didn't want to read. I finished this on Saturday. Yeah, I finished this on, I started it and finished it on Saturday. Or no, no, no. I started it Friday, finished it Saturday, and then I picked up immediately because I realized after that, no, I didn't really want Air of Fire. <sighs> I wanted Queen of Shadows because like the buildup to Empire of Storms, you know. This one I picked up yesterday and finished it yesterday. I stayed up until 5 a.m. on accident. Like I, when I tell you I had no idea, I thought like I was laying in bed and Adam was sleeping and I was reading and I just like had a light on and then I went to go like turn off the lights and everything and I saw my watch and I saw that the time was 4 30 a.m and I was like no I swear I thought it was 12 30 like I could it didn't make sense to me how it could possibly be over 12 30. I don't know where the time went but I finished it I finished up Queen of Shadows <laughs> Some speed reading, of course, and like kinda. So I was really tired for work this morning. Like I had like three hours of sleep. <laughs> and you can bet I am going to be picking up Empire of Storms tonight to do my speed read, speed reread of that. So yeah. Lastly, lastly, I actually got something in Z mail that I've been meaning to get for forever. And I just kind of kept putting it off. And then I realized like, I'm gonna be pretty sad if I keep putting it off long enough for it to not be available anymore. Ta -da! Ooh, it comes with a woodmark. Cool, the purpose of literature is to turn blood, turn blood into ink. T.S. Eliot. Pretty. Finally bit the bullet and bought the Owl Crate version of Book of Night. It's so pretty. I wanted it from the start and I just, I don't know, I just kept putting it off. And I was surprised that it still hadn't like sold out or anything on their site. And I, I just was like, I need to buy it before that happens. And I get mad at myself for <laughs> having missed my opportunity. Like this edition is so pretty. Look at this. Once upon a time, a boy was born with a hungry shadow. It's all like blacked out. Ugh, I love it. The end papers. <gasps> The universe belongs to the curious. It's just so pretty. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat and read Empire of Storms. Thanks for watching. I thought I had way more footage for this vlog than what I ended up having for this vlog. So I really feel like I need to pop in to give you closure because 
I, as the person that filmed this video and should know what was going on in this video and in my head, did not actually know what was going on in this video or in my head. So I'm assuming that you're likely as confused as I am. Maybe not. Maybe that was enough for you. But yeah, basically all we did in this video was I organized the rest of my shelves, which you're getting a, another sneak peek of. I know, fun. But we organized the shelves. I hauled a bunch of pretty books and I read a little bit of Crooked Kingdom. I guess that's really it. It was just a disjointed story of me hauling books and kind of reading while trying to reorganize things. And somehow it turned a little bit chaotic and confused, which yeah, that checks out, you know, but I wanted to close this out for you in case you did need more explanation. I did consider combining this footage with my footage from next week's vlog because I normally don't have vlogs that are 20 minutes long. You know that. But if I did combine it, that video actually has way more footage, so it would be like a 45 minute vlog and I don't really want to do that. So instead, what I will leave you with, if you did feel a little bit underwhelmed by the amount of footage in this video, is the fact that this week, Pinky Swear, this week, uh, my other video that will be going up is the bookshelf organization video. So if you feel underwhelmed, look forward to that. I swear it's going to go up this week. I have already finished most of the editing for it. So once I close it out completely, it'll probably go up on like Saturday. So look forward to that. I hope that that was enough for you. And thanks for watching this video. I don't know. Let's just call this the like sneak peek kind of confused pretty haul books video. <laughs> Let's not call it that. <laughs> I hope my title's better than that.